Blue Folder and QuickBooks Online. The goal is to increase efficiencies, eliminate duplicate entry, and get paid faster. With Blue Folder and QuickBooks Online, you and your team will enter work order details once and move them on to invoicing with a few easy steps. Many of the people we talk to are almost embarrassed to discuss DSO or Days Sales Outstanding. Basically, how long it takes to get paid by your customers. It's not unheard of for business owners to have a DSO of 60 plus days, even when their terms are not 30. Slow paying customers aren't the only reason for out of hand DSO. Many times, businesses hurt themselves by not invoicing shortly after a service is delivered. To help with this issue, Blue Folder and QuickBooks Online make it easy to get invoices to customers quickly and accurately. Let's take a quick look and see how it's done. After logging into Blue Folder, simply click on the Billing tab. When work orders are closed and ready to be invoiced, they'll be collected on the Billing tab as ready to be billed. Here we can see three work orders that are closed and ready to be invoiced. The first step is to create a new billing batch by clicking on New Billing Batch. Here, adjust the invoice date and select the work orders that you would like to send over to QuickBooks. In this case, we'll be invoicing all three. Next, simply click Save Batch. After clicking Save Batch, the folder will take you to the billing batch detail. Here you can see the batch options, who created the billing batch, when it was created, and what the invoice date was. In addition, you'll see all the work orders that are included in this billing batch. When using QuickBooks Online, simply click Transfer to the Billing System. As the import to QuickBooks is done, we'll get an export status from Blue Folder. In this case, we can see all three work orders were exported successfully. Let's go take a look at what this might look like in QuickBooks Online. On the Home tab within QuickBooks Online, we can see that we have $2,272 of open invoices. I'm going to click in and look at the three work orders we brought over, which have created invoices in QuickBooks Online. In the grid, we can see the customer, the work order that created this invoice, the date of invoice, the balance, and our customer's email. To get more detail on this invoice, we'll simply just click here, and we'll be taken to the invoice, which in this case is QuickBooks Invoice 1002. In the top, we'll see our customer, as well as our customer email address. We'll then see our billing address, and our ship to, or shipping address, which in blue folder is the service location. In our line item descriptions, we'll see the work order that created this invoice and the description of the work order, as well as, in this case, a PO number. Next, we'll see the labor that was added, which is after hours rate, the description for the labor hours, the quantity, the rate, and the total. Next, we'll see that we used two parts on this work order. One was an electrical cord and a power switch. Both those items are taxable. The last line will give us our details and notes for this work order. This is an option that can be turned on and off within the batch options when configuring the billing system. Next, we'll see our subtotal, our taxable subtotal, the tax that was applied to this invoice, and our total balance. If changes need to be made after importing into QuickBooks, simply click on any of the items and make the necessary changes. At this point, depending on your practices, you can simply print this invoice and send it to your customer, or by going back to, to your QuickBooks Home and clicking on Customers, you can select the invoices that you'd like to email to your clients. This is also a batch option that you'll set up in your billing batch options within Blue Folder. To set up the integration between Blue Folder and QuickBooks Online, navigate to the Billing tab and click on Configure Billing Integration. From the Billing Settings, choose QuickBooks Online. Here, Blue Floor is telling us that we're not currently connected to QuickBooks Online. We're simply going to click Connect to QuickBooks, and the Integration Wizard will be launched. The first step is QuickBooks is asking you to authorize a connection to Blue Folder. Click Authorize. QuickBooks will give us some feedback and let us know that we're now connected. We'll also receive some feedback under the billing system integration that we're connected to QuickBooks Online. Just a quick note, open up QuickBooks Online and be logged in when you set up the billing integration. Just a really quick discussion on the conversation Blue Folder has with QuickBooks. When a customer exists in Blue Folder, for example, Which Which Sandwich Shop 
on this invoice and does not exist in QuickBooks, Blue Folder will send the customer information over to QuickBooks and the customer will be created. This is true for also the billing address as well as the shipping address. As work orders are imported into QuickBooks, if items on those work orders do not exist within QuickBooks, those items will be created. For example, our top item here is a labor rate and the item name is after hours rate. If that rate did not exist in QuickBooks, it will be added to QuickBooks the first time a work order with that item is being imported. In addition, the description of the item will be sent over to QuickBooks as well. If you've chosen in the batch options to include item comments on the invoice, any comments added to the item, for example technician notes, will be included in the line item description of that item. Before will also send over the price and quantity of an item. If the price is different in QuickBooks than it is in Blue Folder, the item price that's used will be the Blue Folder item price. Last but not least, we mentioned this prior, the work order details and notes can be displayed at the bottom of the invoice or if you choose, again in the billing batch options, those can be omitted from the invoice. So in short, if a customer doesn't exist in QuickBooks but it does in Blue Folder, it will be created in QuickBooks on the first work order that's imported into QuickBooks. The same goes for any labor, materials, and expense items. If they don't exist in QuickBooks, they will be created when they're used on a work order that's imported into QuickBooks. For questions and help, please contact Blue Folder or visit us on the web at www.bluefolder.com.